Greetings viewers and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, toolbox tour of my U.S. General Harbor Freight roll cart. So now that we've got the roll cart opened up, we'll start here on the lid. First, we've got a little magnetic hook where I can hang my keys up, get them out of the way. That way I don't have them on my belt loop and they're not rolling up against the car marking on scratching them up. Here we have a magnetic sheet. This one's made by Torin. I believe it's the same Torin that makes uh, Big Red Jack, the engine hoist, the uh, floor jacks, jack stands, and so on. So I've got my wrenches, well most of my wrenches, here on this magnetic sheet on the lid. We've got an 810. Uh, 10 standard length, 10 XL snap-on, 12 standard and XL, a 13 standard and XL, a 14, 15 combo, zero offset, long double box end. Uh, use that one for serpentine belts, uh, 14 mil standard length, 17 standard and long, and 19 standard length. So starting here in the top of the roll cart down this side we have a set of mac sockets i believe these are called rbrts something kind of new i believe it came out at the end of last year but these are uh extractor socket they're made for hex headed bolts it kind of looks like a twisted torx bit but those twisted teeth are to help uh, remove rounded out hexes. Bought the set as a 4 mil to a 10 and um, first week I had them I used them and they worked as expected. I had a rounded out hex on Mercedes Sprinter van uh, brakes and it removed the uh, two fasteners that were damaged. No problem so I went ahead this week and got the 12 and 14 just because we see them on Subarus. Then we've got a 10 mil Mac and two 12 mil snap-on hex sockets over here. Got a really long number two Phillips Mac screwdriver over here. Got a rechargeable Milwaukee flashlight floodlight with a magnet on the bottom. As actually, actually has three modes. The head actually swivels around as you see here. Really nice light, really bright. It has different intensity ratings. And magnetic on the bottom. I've got my snap-on work light. I can get it out of here. Strong magnets on the back here. Hook on the top, magnet on the bottom, rechargeable. Also pivots back and forth. Has a flashlight built in the tip here. And then floodlight here in the side. And it is dimmable. If you hold the button, it'll dim down and dim up. Moving back to the back here, we have a container of Super Lube. You can get this at Harbor Freight. This is the lubricant that Snap-on puts in all of their ratchet heads. And when we warranty rebuilt uh, Snap-on ratchets, uh, a little package of this Super Lube comes in there for the rebuild to lubricate everything. So I believe it's like $6 for this big tube. So just something that, nice to have on hand where I can periodically service, break down and clean all my Snap-on ratchets and lubricate them. Back here we have two Milwaukee Inksol paint pens, yellow and white. I use these for marking uh, timing pulleys. Uh, use them for marking bolts that I've torqued, uh, things of that nature. That's good to have. We have the Snap-on Subaru head bolt socket, 14, 12 point. Part number is S6214. My camera is being annoying right now and not wanting to focus. Sorry about that. 
but went and took the yellow paint pen and painted in the markings. Makes it a lot easier to read that. From the distance back here we've got shallow 19 and 17 half inch snap on impact sockets randomly. We've got I believe 14 and 12 mil, yeah, swivel impact quarter inch snap-ons. We've got a deep half inch 17. Not exactly sure why it's even over here. We've got Silver Eagle 3 8 impact deep and shallows on this end of the rack. Uh, back here, tool I made just the other day for installing wheels on a Mercedes Sprinter. Just cut down a wheel bolt, put a slot in it so I can hang the wheels on it to install them. Back here at the back is my specially made uh, Subaru uh, AC compressor clutch puller tool that you've seen in the AC uh, compressor clutch gap adjustment video. And it's just three bolts uh, to pull and one in the middle to press back on the clutch. Moving on from there, we've got the Silver Eagle 3 8 impact socket set. It is an 8 to 19 mil deep and shallow. Random 12 mil Mac Chrome Universal. That's actually one I had warrantied out this week. It's been uh, finally got a Mac dealer in town. I uh, haven't seen one in, well, ever. So I've got a lot of old Mac stuff I've been trying to warranty out that's been broken for years and years and years. So we're slowly getting all that replaced. Got a 12 mil. Uh, 12 point snap on deep and shallow here. Was using that the other week for splitting the block on the Subaru engines. Uh, a couple other 12 point random sockets here. And then here we've got the 8 to 19 deep and shallow 3 8 chrome Harbor Freight Icon sockets because, like I said in the Harbor Freight Icon socket video, I'm using the I'm using them in place of my snap ons just for long term testing to see how they fare and hold up. Down here we've got metric quarter inch, uh, four to 15 mil snap on. We've got, uh, I think it's 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 quarter inch universal uh, swivel sockets. We've got the, well, part of the snap on flank drive plus, if it'll focus. Plank Drive Plus, dual 80 ratcheting wrenches. These have the same dual 80 mechanism that comes in the regular snap-on ratchets. Super fine, love these ratchet wrenches. Super smooth, very small degree of engagement. Just have the 12, 13, and 14 in the box. I've got the full set at the house in my big Epic, but that's the only ones I really need in the roll cart. And, uh, Snap on crow's feet, three eighths, uh, flare nut, got 12 to 14 again, just because that's the only ones I really need right now. Down here at the bottom, hard to see, is my long half inch snap on flex head soft grip ratchet. Use that for spinning over engines and breaking loose uh, crank pulley bolts for the most part. Something new, just picked that up this up this week. This is a torque adapter set from Mac. This is a 10 to 19 inclusive, no skips. I've been wanting a set of these for a while now. Uh, but if you don't know what a torque adapter is, basically it goes on the end of your torque wrench so you can torque a fastener that you can't get a socket on but could get a wrench on. So that's what these are for. Something I will not use every day but you know, there's particular times there's a fastener I need to torque and cannot get a socket with the torque wrench on it. Moving on, we've got a 12, no, that's a 15, 16 mil snap-on, uh, double box and offset set of 3M safety glasses, non-fogging, really love these. I just got them a week or two ago and absolutely love them for the no fog, uh, especially as much humidity as we have here in South Carolina. Uh, regular safety glasses always fog up and sweat up where you can't see and they're aggravating and you just don't want to wear them. So those are awesome because they do not fog up, they do not condensate and you don't have to worry about it. You can leave them on all day and not uh, really notice them. Harbor Freight double box in metric offsets. 
These are Pittsburgh, I think. They're not even Pittsburgh Pro. I think the set was like 12 bucks Labor Day with a coupon. Uh, it's not something I use very regularly, but it saved my butt on a Jeep Grand Cherokee rear strut job the other week. And as you saw in the Subaru Outback rear strut video, I use these for the top nut on it as well. Super handy for uh, strut mounts. And then we have a 12, 14 snap on double uh, box and offset metric wrench. Here we've got uh, assortment. It is tamper proof Torx, Torx, hexes, hex balls, and uh, inverted Torx. This is all Silver Eagle from Matco. I've had this set for probably five, six years now. Never broke a single one in it. Awesome set. Over here we've got another little work light. This is the little snap-on uh, hockey puck. This is the aluminum one. But super bright light as well, rechargeable. Type-C USB. Very strong magnet on the bottom. Swivels, pivots all around. Over here we've got a couple of super long half-inch extensions. Uh, I believe both are Mac. No, this one's Mac, and this one's Snap-on. Over here we got the FLL80 Snap-on 3.8 super long handle. And just a regular number two Phillips and flat Snap-on Instinct screwdriver. I've got the giant set at the house in my other box, but these are the only ones I got over here with me. I uh, see some random stuff here in the middle. We've got some Irwin uh, twist extractor bits sockets, uh, super long, uh, I believe it's a five mil, a no, four mil. This is for the uh, hex bolts on the air oil separator plate on Subaru, uh, a little magnetic pickup tool, two of those, heavy duty one and a little one, two mil hex, uh, 32 mil Stevie axle, nut socket, 14 mil, hex for uh, Subaru block drains and for the piston pin access covers. We've got uh, a 22 and a 24 mil half inch back here, uh, 22 mil half inch for crank pulleys on Subarus. We've got, let's see, I think 12, 12, 14, 18, I think a 17 back here that's broken, waiting for warranty. Civil 3 8 impact sockets. We've got the, God, what do they call this thing? It's the Torx, I can't remember if it's Torx Plus or Tamper Proof Torx Plus, but it's the it's the five star. No, it's the um, squared off uh, ended Torx instead of being pointed, but it's the Fastener 4 single overhead cam Subarus like the EJ253 for the uh, bolts that hold on the cam cap for the single overhead cams. And we've got two Phillips bits for the old impact driver. Good for knocking out the screws on the wrist pin cover, access cover on the back, and also for getting the screws out of the oil air separator plate that have not gone to the new steel plate with the four mil hex button head screws. And that pretty much rounds out the whole top of the cart. So from there, we're going to start moving down through the drawers. All right, drawer number one is extensions and ratchets. We've got some 3-8 impact extensions, 3-8 chromes, half-inch chromes, all varying different things. We've got some adapters, 3-8 a quarter. We've got standard extensions. We've got Wobble Plus extensions, quarter-inch extensions, uh, more adapters, half to 3-8 and half, 3-8 uh, to half. Got a flex head, Mac hard handle, uh, spark plug ratchet, snap on uh, stubby 3.8, snap on standard 3.8, locking flex head quarter inch snap on, uh, super long quarter inch snap on, FL80 3.8 snap on, which I have two of because it's one of my favorite ratchet. Uh, good old little T72 quarter inch ratchet, TL72 longer reach quarter inch breaker bar, and that basically rounds out the ratchet drawer.
Moving down, we have the cluttered plier drawer because there's only so much room in this little cart. Uh, this cart's actually probably going to be going uh, away next week, although I've only had it for two, three weeks now. Um, looking at trading up for a larger uh, snap-on split lid roll cart. So starting at the top here, we've got the Doyle Harbor Freight uh, V-notch uh, channel lock wannabe pliers. Uh, they had a coupon and they were on special, so I think I got them for like eight bucks. So it was worth trying them. I don't really have a use for them, but I'm sure I will run into a use for them. Got the good and trusty uh, Nipex, Nipex, Knipex, whichever way the Germans pronounce it. Uh, Cobra pliers. I've had these things for about seven years. Love them. They're absolute beast. I really need to get a couple more pairs of them. I actually love them so much that I carry the baby pocket-sized Cobra with me all the time in my pocket. I also have the baby version of the Nipex, Snipex, Knepex, uh, Flyer's Wrench. But I always have those two in pocket with my pocket knife. Random snap-on pick. We've got the snap-on, uh, I think that's the 87 ACF uh, diagonal cutters. The Talon Grip Needle Nose, favorite, favorite pair. Love these things. Nothing grabs like those. No other Needle Nose plier. I threw away every other pair of Needle Nose plier I had for these. These things, nothing compares to them. And then I've got a set of older Mac Hose Grip pliers. You've seen these on quite a few videos. We're uh, great for grabbing off vacuum lines with the little ones here. Uh, the medium size one's good for fuel lines. Uh, small coolant lines like the throttle body, uh, the bigger one for heater hoses. Uh, I think they have actually a larger one for radiator hoses, but it's not of this style plier. Recently uh, warranted one out, and I'm kind of disappointed in it. I really wish I'd kept the old one because the new Mac stuff is just cheapy, Taiwani, not the stout USA old Mac stuff. It just it's disappointing. It doesn't match the set. The handle colors are different. They're cheaper feeling. Uh, these are not going to last as long as my original pair. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got some random uh, Mac picks from Mac old Mac set. Got plastic uh, push pin rivet puller pliers. Ratcheting snap-on screwdriver. These are some of my favorites. Always go for those. Got hose grip pliers. These things are great. This is a Mac pair that's got a pistol grip on it. Saw it on the Mac truck the other day and just said why not because I needed a couple more pairs of these things. They're great for crimping off uh, coolant lines or fuel lines or any kind of flexible hose. It just pinches down and clamps on and you're good to go. Doesn't hurt the hose at all couple random pairs of snap ring pliers back here uh, a couple pair of vice grips and blue point um, these are hose clamp pliers for grabbing the spring clamps like on GM's and actually it has a lock where once you clamp down on it it'll keep it depressed so you can slide it back on the hose love these things use them all the time try to have links in the description of the video on anything that I can link to on Amazon or anywhere else for you. Next drawer, kind of random. We've got a Milwaukee bit set. Haven't really used this yet. Just got it a week or two ago, but needed to have one for a while just for dash work, things like that. Uh, here's another pair of the those crimp off pliers, these are Blue Point branded, but I'm pretty sure they're all three brands, whether it's Mac, Blue Point, or whoever. Old hickory handled ball peen hammer, mini sledge, big adjustable Blue Point, uh, chargers for the rechargeable work lights. We've got some brake drum, uh, brake tools, got a seal puller, feeler gauges, just a little bit of random stuff going on here. Uh, fluke 115 meter got 
angle die grinder blue point, old school blue point that was made in Japan, not the new Chinese Taiwan stuff. This uh, die grinder, I think, if I remember right, let me see if I can read the serial number real quick. I think this one is, yeah, 1994. So it's been kicking for a hot minute. Some uh, makeshift hose grip uh, pliers if you uh, want to go it the cheap way. Get the long nose vice grips, cut some uh, fuel line, stick it over the jaws to protect, and then you can uh, clamp off fuel or coolant hoses with these and uh, save money on uh, buying the specialty ones. Just a couple punches and chisels here. Got the roll pin punch for removing front Subaru CV axles. And the long one here for uh, the roll pin on the uh, shifter bushing. Not shifter bushing, the uh, shifter universal joint that always gets worn out and your shifter gets real sloppy. Then up here we have the ASF machine. Uh, what's that? That's the cam seal install tool and the crankshaft install tool, I think. No. FS front seal, CS cam seal, and the rear main seal installer tool back there. Love this stuff. Thanks again, ASF machine. This drawer is a cluttered mess, and I'm not a fan of the layout of it, but I had stuff to put here and uh, this is the best way to get it to fit with the limited space. Another reason, like I said, I'm getting the bigger cart most likely. So we've got some Matco cutoff wheels. We've got the Icon metric stubby ratcheting wrench set, which I did a video on the other day. I uh, haven't got to use them much. Used them on a project the other day. I'll probably put a clip of in when I do a follow-up video on these and it really came in uh, came in handy. I wouldn't have been able to get the uh, two fasteners out. I had to get out without these. I actually used it twice this week. I used it also. used the 14 on getting Subaru AC compressor loose. They were really handy for that. Uh, regular old Lyle mechanic stethoscope. I've got my tech angle torque wrenches from Snap-on, quarter, three-eighths, and half inch. Company 23 cam holding, cam pulley holding tool. Uh, a random cam pulley holding tool for the metal single red cams. Uh, company 23 uh, crank pulley holder tool. We got two snap on striking pry bars and we've got a couple of little brushes back here for cleaning engine parts. Down here we got the big money drawer. Probably gonna be doing a video on this as well. As you see this is now nearly all Milwaukee. All my snap on cordless stuff has gone. We're probably gonna be doing a video about that though. So we've got the half inch Milwaukee high torque. We've got the 3 8 Milwaukee high torque. Well, they call it a mid torque, but it's high torque. It's 600 foot pounds in a 3 8 gun. It's high torque. Uh, the 1400 foot pound half inch. We've got the M12 3 8 stubby 250 foot pound. We've got the Milwaukee fuel uh, cordless cutoff. Got a rapid charger, snap-on charger in the back. We've got a Milwaukee Fuel 3.8 standard length uh, ratchet. We've got still my snap-on long neck 3.8s, the 14.4 volt, and the quarter inch. These might get traded in or sold and replaced with Milwaukee Fuel when the long necks come out, but I'm not sure yet. I still have more leanings toward the snap-on ratchets. That fuel is impressive though with 55 foot-pounds compared to the 30 or 40. I can't remember what the snap-on has now in the standard length, but I think mine, which is the original version, which is a uh, CTR761A, I think they're on a C or a D model now, and they've changed the RPMs and the torque and everything, but I think my original one only had 30 or 35 foot-pounds, so that one's much stouter, but a lot slower in RPM too, so there's kind of a give and take there. But yeah, I might be uh, changing up the ratchets too. We shall see if I can get my hands on them. Hey Milwaukee, if you wanna send uh, some long nuts out for me to test, I would not be opposed to testing them. So we've got the uh, new XC high up, put six O's on both of the guns and I've got an extra six O charge ready to go. We have the CP30 on the gun here and here and then we got a spare six O back here. 
and that rounds that drawer out. All right, on to the bottom of the toolbox now, a little roll cart. Starting here on the side, hanging, I've got the Matco, oh, it's not Matco, it's uh, branded Matco, but as we all know, Matco just makes stickers. So uh, it's probably a Lyle, but it's the uh, brake caliper hanger tool. I think they're like 20 bucks, so not terrible to get off the truck. Tub of towels, these things are awesome. I just picked them up at Home Depot the other day to try out, and they are just as good as the Snap-on Mac or Matco uh, hand and tool wipes, and a lot cheaper. So really like these things. Um, here we've got some dip nitrile work gloves. These were on sale at Home Depot, made by Firm Grip. Not very impressed with them. They've got a horrid, horrid chemical smell. Just reeks of Chineseium. I have to let them air out, and your hands smell really horrible afterwards. But they're pretty stout. Uh, they hold up pretty well. Uh, I probably get maybe four or five pair of normal nitro glove uses out of one pair of these. And these are, you know, washable, reusable, but I have the nitro starting to tear up on some of them. OTC cylinder leakage tester kit, crucial when working on Subarus. Used it the other week to diagnose the blown head gasket on the Outback over here I was working on last week. Uh, what we got? Subaru ATF filter, uh, just some regular random parts. Uh, spring compressors, you saw me nearly blow myself apart with the other week <laughs> doing the struts on that uh, Outback. Got a Matco rebranded uh, Master Cool uh, UV light for AC work, leak detection. We've got a Lyle spill free funnel back here, the new clear one, which I really love. Uh, up here, we've got a Milwaukee M12 screwdriver. This is the non fuel model. I really wanted the fuel model, but I mean, it's a screwdriver. It really doesn't have to have that much torque and power. Uh, this kit was on special uh, deal of the day from Home Depot the other day, and I think it was the screw gun, two 1.5 M12 batteries, and a bit kit for like 79 bucks, and I just couldn't say no to it. There's the rest of that Matco rebranded Master, Pro, Master Cool AC leak detection kit that that light came out of. We've got the Snap-on uh, thread chaser kit. We've got Snap-on... Uh, boroscope, and then we got the Matco big uh, metric and SAE tap and die set here. At the back, we've got the hard cases that the tech angle snap on torque wrenches go in just in case I need to pack them up and take them somewhere with me. So, around here at the side, we've got the can holder, which I'm using to hold a bottle of water, but hey, it's a uh, serving the purpose. And over here we've got the charger for my Streamlight Stryon LED flashlight. One of the two I carry on me. I have the Stryon LED uh, HL high lumen version and a Coast uh, G20 that I carry in the pocket in my sleeve up here with a tire pressure gauge. Moving on around to the back of the cart, we've got my snap-on uh, mat. You've probably seen in some of the videos I used to lay down on, especially when I was working at the house, keep me from laying in the gravel. Uh, when working under cars, we've got the M12 Rover LED work light. Nice strong magnet on the back of that, can use it as an underhood light, also has a clamp on it. And then we've got nitrile gloves in the box, uh, box holder, magnetic on the back of the cart. Here on the side, we've got the little foldable extra tray that you can add. When I bought my box, the Harbor Freight uh, did not have this accessory for the white boxes. They didn't have any accessories for the white boxes. They just have the white boxes in stock. So I had to order that online, but got it fairly quickly. I don't think it was but maybe 24 bucks or so. Uh, it gives you quite a bit of extra room, and when you don't need it, you uh, simply pick it up, fold it down to the side. And yeah, I added the little protective mat here on top where it doesn't get scratched up. 
So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, uh, if you stuck around this long. As I said earlier in the video, I'm probably gonna be selling this cart here in the next uh, couple days. My Snap-on dealer just Friday showed me a new roll cart he's got coming in from the tool show. It is a new color for Snap-on, I believe, from last year's tool show. It's teal, and it has uh, black trim on it, black emblem, black wheels, and it's got a rhino line top that splits and si slides open from the middle. Uh, I believe it's 40 inches wide, or 43. I think it's a KRSC 430, something like that. I can't remember the part number off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, he's got it coming in supposedly Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm gonna go over to the house, take a look at it, and uh, figure out if I wanna buy it or not. But dude, then this one's uh, going to another guy in the shop. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great little cart. My main issue is I just don't have enough room in it. So uh, that's the reason I'm looking to upgrade. Otherwise, it's uh, strong enough for what I need, uh, especially for, for the price. I think these are 229 or 219. I can't remember now, but I know I bought it uh, Labor Day weekend with a coupon, and I think I got it for 179 with the coupon or 189 can't recall now but it was you know for a cart this size it was a really good deal so with that said i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one